not going anywhere for a little while. Going somewhere on a boat. It's not quite as easy as it sounds. There are plenty of things that can stop us in our tracks out there on the water and maybe end our day a little bit early or even just pause that day a little bit, kind of like some of the stuff we'll see in this week's video. Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. And today we'll talk about that, some of the things that can kind of pause your day or stop your day out there on the water. Now, of course, there are plenty of ways for this to happen, but we'll start right at the beginning. And one of the first things you're gonna do in your boating day is go get that boat loaded up on the trailer and carry that bad boy down to the boat launch, unless you're one of those blessed young sons who happens to have their boat in a marina or maybe in a dry stack storage facility. But for the rest of us plebes, we're out here doing our thing and trying to get these boats launched at the boat ramp. Now, there are plenty of things that can slow our day down at the boat ramp. One of the most important ones being that there's just not quite enough dock space. So it makes it difficult that there's not enough dock space for you to get your boat launched. And you may have to wait your turn in line, slowing down that day of enjoyment out of the water you're so looking forward to. And then of course, some of the other things that can slow us down at the boat ramp are gonna be those silly mistakes we make on our own. Maybe we just don't quite follow our entire checklist on getting the boat launched. And the next thing we know, we've made a silly mistake and kind of missed a step. And that step has cost us some extra time at the ramp. Or you'll see some people who will try and multitask down there at the ramp and maybe they're trying to get that free car wash in with launching their boat and they'll wind up tying the ramp up holding us back from our day a little bit as well and it's not always somebody trying to launch sometimes one of the biggest headaches you'll deal with down at the boat ramp that can hold you up is going to be somebody trying to pull their boat especially if they're trying to pull a boat they don't pull that often they may not have their technique down they may not know exactly where it needs to seat on the trailer which can cause some delays as they try and get those small issues worked out before they pull the boat completely out of the water now, even if you're fortunate enough to not experience any delays in your day down at the boat ramp, which is highly unlikely, there's still other things you're going to have to look out for. Just because you've got that boat launched doesn't mean your checklist stops there. You're going to have to make some other checks on your vessel before you leave the dock. And you'll hopefully have a checklist reminding you to check those things, making sure your bilge pumps are working, checking and making sure you put the drain plug in the boat. And of course, there are things like weather and water levels that could put a quick end to your day as well. Welcome to King Tides. Not every day it's like this, but when it does hit, it might be stuck. Water levels are an ever-changing issue you will deal with in boating. Everybody has to deal with a little different situation, but they all can put a stop to your day. Here we go, Broncos guru. It's a dredging in the hole. So always be sure to check the water levels on your water that you're going boating in and try and stay away from any shallow spots. Now there are still more that can put an end to your day or a pause to it out on the water. And that is your boys. That's right. You invite your friends out to have a good time on the boat. And there's always that one boy who likes to have a little bit too much fun. And he's the one that sometimes can just put a quick pause to the day. But he's the life of the party. So you let it slide because without him out there, it's just not the same time. I mean, we all know that guy. The one that every time we take him out on the boat, he almost always has one of those hold my drinks and watch this moment. And of course, everybody pulls their phones or their cameras out when that happens. Now I know what you're thinking. BG, there's a lot of things that can turn my day upside down on the water. And there really are, but that doesn't mean you should be discouraged and not go out there. One of the other things you'll meet out there that can pause your day is going to be the other captains you'll encounter. You're always gonna run into somebody doing something that you just don't quite agree with. Boneheaded Boater of the Week. That is the dumbest idea you could ever have. Hmm, sure that propeller would feel real good. And then of course you'll always run into one of my favorites, the old Captain Crunches out there in the water. Those guys who get out there and are bound and determined at some point in the day, they are just going to smack into something for the hell of it and pause their day. <laughs> Kind of like this crew having a little bit too much fun up at Blyman Bridge. Caught on camera by our boy Cutbridge Craziness. Go ahead and check him out on Instagram. It's always a fun watch over there. And there's plenty of Captain Crunches on his Instagram channel. But it's not the only place you're going to find them. They're out there everywhere. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know. And you might see your stories over here. Just like Connor Brinkman... Cutbridge Craziness, David Klein, Alex Coolidge, Alex Ed McLeod Potter, Ben O'Connor, Bill Buell, Cole Kay, Ice Skate Coach, Jeffrey Chubb, Joshua Mateus, Julian Morency, K Pastor88, Nick Ray, and Scott Sullins did this week. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.